Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Leisar and the Crimes of Kulervo update is live for Warframe. And of course, the obvious question is, dude, how do I even farm this brand Warframe and is he worth it? Now, he's only been out a couple of minutes, actually. So I can't tell you if he's worth it, but I can tell you how to farm it. So first thing you got to do, head on over to navigation. As so, hit up the Duvidi experience. You want to farm Kulervo in the Duvidi experience, but only in free spirals. Anger, Fear, and Sorrow. In Anger, Fear, and Sorrow, Kulervo's Hole, which is a little island on the map, which I will show you, will spawn. So essentially, you go for the Duvidi experience, and you complete that island either as a side objective. You simply walk up to it. There will be a Jailer. You press X, and you will have a little dialogue with him. You will be able to enable the fight versus Kulervo, and you're going to fight him for three rounds. And then, essentially, you can go on about your business. You you need to finish the actual spiral in the sense you got to do all of the objectives and fight the auto worm at the end otherwise you're not going to be getting yourself the resource that you need to buy Kulervo's parts now if you don't get the free spirals which i mentioned which is anger fear and sorrow then what you gotta do is hit right up here Kulervo's hold this one however is not overly efficient because it costs you five Pathos Clamp. And you see it's only available for the next 13 days and 21 hours. Essentially, you're gonna keep on farming Colervo even after this event is done, but you're only gonna be able to do so through the normal Duvidi experience. What this does, in essence, is simply bypass the whole, oh, I need a specific spiral in order for the island to spawn. You get how that one works. So once again, Anger, Fear, and Sorrow, you go for the Duvidi experience. Do I not go for the Lone Story? No, you do not, because while the hold of Kulervo may spawn as an objective during the Lone Story, it cannot be completed as a side objective. So the Duvidi experience is definitely the way to go as long as you have the Anger, Fear, or Sorrow spirals. And yes, I'm aware it's the third time I say it, but some of you guys really don't pay attention. So, Steel Path or Normal, that's the question. Which one should I go for? In normal mode, you're going to get yourself four, five, or six Kulervos Bane. This Kulervos Bane is essentially the resource that you need to farm Kulervo. In Steel Path, you're going to get yourself six, seven, or eight. So obviously, doing it Steel Path is definitely more efficient, and that's what I would recommend. But if you feel like Steel Path is a bit much for you, and you want to get it done faster and all whatnot, sure, go for more normal mode. You're going to be able to farm Kulervo without any issue whatsoever. Now, after you get yourself Kulervo's Bane, which is the resource you're going to need to buy the components, you visit this vendor, either at the end of the Spiral or in the Dormy Zone. And her name is Akritis. And you got yourself Kulervo's Archive. And in this section is where you're going to be able to buy the component, components. You get yourself the chassis, the neuroptics, the system, the brand new shotgun, which is the Rauta. First impressions are not fantastic for this one, but wait for the full review. You get yourself the blueprint, the battle, the receiver, the stock. And you can also get 100,000 credits for every 15 Kulervo's Bane. That essentially is a little bit of something after you are done farming the Warframe and all of his components. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. What happens next, I will show you again gameplay loop just so you understand exactly what you need to do the spiral right now is joy damn it if i was to go for the duvidi experience kulervo's hold will not spawn that means i'm going to be using kulervo's hold as an option right here pay five pathos clamp and i'm going to get myself a guaranteed spawn of the island but if i had anger fear or sorrow i would just go for the duvidi experience and this option will only be available for the next two weeks as you can see Let's conclude our business by confronting Kulala or declining. The beast is loose, intent once again on mindless slaughter. Now, if you're going to be doing this in the normal Duvidi experience, you got to bear in mind that there are recommendations for five decrees, but you don't have to. If you want to fight them straight from the start, that's not an issue. What will be an issue, however, is the fact that you still need to do all of the bounties and the final auto worm fight before you extract to make sure you get the bane of Kulervo currency. An efficient way to fight Kulervo from what I gathered is that in your party make sure you rotate your going to warframe ability that is your 5 ability once you unlocked it with intrinsics yes that's the smartest way to do it that's the fastest way so it doesn't take so much time while battling with the drifter. So right now I'm gonna do my next one here he comes that's gonna be the second fight i'm gonna press five i'm going to my warframe and i'm just gonna be using my gun my normal gun to absolutely blow him up which will be a whole lot faster as you can see just one more defeat amongst countless Kulavo. When, oh when, shall yes this is the old path there you go now somebody else will rotate their warframe mobility press five 
and essentially destroy Kulerva. Look at that. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Now, before I go into the auto worm, there's one little key piece I want to show you. It has nothing to do with the actual form per se, but I thought it was kind of cool. So if you come over here in the courtyard of Kulervo, there will be two little children that sing a poem. Kulervo, Kulervo, warrior born. From his mother's breast he was torn, doomed to go wandering all forlorn. Kulervo, Kulervo, made to mourn. And inside here you also find a little tablet. Oh well, sometimes there's a little tablet here that you can do a little bit of a query, if you know what I mean. Oh, look what I found! Over here! Over here! Now, if you're unfamiliar in how to do the auto worm fight in Steel Path, I got a nifty guide for you fantastic individuals. Link in the cards right now. And that's it. That's the auto worm fight. Get yourself your rewards now. Upon extracting from the screen, make sure you visit Arctris. But the problem is, you're not gonna get to use the Kulervos Bane you just earned. Which should show up in the lower left side of the screen, but it didn't. You not getting that splash screen is a bug. There you go, five Kulervos Bane. So, even though we did steal path, we only got five because that is the current bug that is plaguing this game mode in the sense that you can go steal path in Kulervos Hold, but unfortunately, you're not gonna get steel path numbers even though you are gonna be fighting steel path enemies this is a bug that will be fixed already got in contact with the dev and they are aware of this problem so you don't need to worry about it probably by the time you play it should be already ironed out but for the time being if you're gonna go for kulervos hold just simply go for normal because it's not worth going steel path sadly now in the free spirals we talked about and by going for the five pathos clamp approach in the map you're going to be able to see Kulervos hold at the south of the map you see it right here you don't need to walk over there or fly over there there's a teleport if you manage to unlock that intrinsic and the reason why i'm showing you this is because there's a brand new resource called Uya Mag, and that resource you're going to need 200 of to actually build all of the components for Kulervo. so here are the little guys that are going to sing about Kulervo. And you can get the right pronunciation from there. Where's that stupid cactus? <laughs> That's it. This is it. This is the cactus. Check out the cactus. It's called the Ouya Mag. And you shoot it. And you get yourself the stuff. And I can confirm, yes, resource uh, booster does work on this one. Get yourself 200, my friends. 200. Now, I don't know if it spawns anywhere else in Duvidi outside of Kulervor's Hold. But I do know it spawns all over this little island. <laughs> Kulavo, sworn to the sword, sweated and slaved for the head of the horde, bruised and bludgeoned and scarred and gored. Kulavo, Kulavo, warrior's ward. And that is pretty much it. That's how you farm Kulervo. Happy farming. As always, my name is Blazer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, and yes, full and detailed build guide on Kulervo on his weapon later. Much later.